On January 26, 2020, Kobe Bryant chartered a Sikorsky S-76B helicopter to bring his daughter, Gianna, and seven others to the Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks, California. Also on board that day were, John Altobelli, Carrie Altobelli, Alyssa Altobelli, Christina Mauser, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, and pilot, Ara Zobayan. Zobayan had been a certified pilot for over two decades and was well regarded in the aviation community. He held an instrument rating, and the helicopter was equipped to fly by instruments alone, however, the FAA operating certificate held by Island Express Helicopters, who owned the helicopter, only allowed for visual flight rules. It was technically not authorized to fly this helicopter using instrument flight rules, regardless of Zobayan's IFR certification. Zobayan had a close professional relationship with Kobe Bryant, serving as his personal pilot for several years. As Bryant frequently used helicopters to navigate the Los Angeles area due to its notorious traffic, Zobayan became a familiar figure to the basketball legend. Their relationship extended beyond a typical client-pilot dynamic, with Zobayan reportedly being a trusted and valued member of Bryant's team. Helicopter 72 Echo X-ray departed John Wayne Airport at 9.06 a.m. They headed north-northwest at an altitude of about 700 to 800 feet above sea level under visual flight rules. At 9.20 a.m., Helicopter 72 Echo X-ray approached the Burbank-class Charlie airspace. Zobayan requested to transition the airspace along Highway 101. The controller told him that it was currently IFR conditions in Burbank and asked what his intentions were. 72 Echo X-ray, Burbank Tower, Burbank Hill, 3019, Burbank-class Charlie, surface area is IFR, say intentions. The pilot requested a special VFR clearance. Special VFR is when the air traffic control gives permission to a VFR pilot to enter an airspace at less than VFR conditions. November 2 Echo X-ray hold outside Burbank Class Charlie Airspace. I have an aircraft going around. Two Echo X-ray holding. The controller advised that 72 Echo X ray would have to hold short before entering the airspace due to IFR traffic, which has priority. At this point, Zobayan maintained a circular orbit just outside of the airspace. Negative, how are you? 2 Roger, and Van Nuys is also IFR. 2 Echo It's going to be a little bit. I got a citation on a Niner Mile final, and then that go around that I just had is going to be turning uh, base to final in about three minutes. Okay, we'll continue holding two Echo X ray. November two Echo X ray, and for your planning purposes, you can expect to transition to the north side of the airport. I just spoke with Van Eyes on the line, and they've got multiple IFR departures coming off of runway 16. So you can expect to follow the 5 north and cross that way. Two Echo X-ray, no problem. 317 Papa Burbank Tower. You can expect a few minutes. I got a uh, special VFR helicopter I need to get transitioning. He's been holding for about 15 minutes.
south uh, northwest follow the five freeway maintain special vfr correction special vfr conditions at or below 2500 maintain special vfr at or below 2500 i5 northbound to aggress Number two, Echo X-ray, Roger, and you're cleared super van clash Charlie surface area from the southeast to the northwest. Copy that. We'll maintain special VFR counter to Echo X-ray for your transition to Camarillo. Did you just want to follow the 118? 118, and then we'll loop around Van Eyes to catch the 101 to Echo X-ray. Number two, Echo X-ray, Roger. Number two, Echo X-ray, continue following the five northwestbound to join the 118. And then uh, Van Nuys will work you through. Radar service is terminated. Remain that squawk. Contact Van Nuys Helicopters, 119.0. Two Echo X-ray, switch you to Van Nuys. And I helicopter to Echo Extra with you for the special VFR transition. We are currently at 1400. Helicopter 7 to Echo Extra, Van Nuys Tower. Wind calm, visibility 2 and 1 half. Ceiling 1100 overcast, Van Nuys altimeter 3016. Cleared into Van Nuys Class Delta, northeast of Van Nuys along the 118 freeway westbound. Advise when you're in VFR conditions or when you're clear of the Van Nuys Class Delta. Transition at or below 2,500, permitting. Two Echo X-ray, advise in VFR condition, uh, and then we'll stay on the uh, 118, so we'll currently at 1,400, and we have 0235. Helicopter 2 Echo X-ray, thank you. And once you're clear Van Nuys Delta, did you want to talk to SoCal? Hey, Fremont, two Echo X-ray. Streamline 117, contact SoCal departure. Helicopter 2X, I understand, just remain this frequency, and again, 118 West. 2X, 2X, 118 West. Tower for 2 Echo X-ray, can we start, go ahead and start turning to the uh, southwest towards the one way? Helicopter 2 Echo X-ray, approved, and are you transitioning in VFR condition? VFR condition, 1,500, 2 Echo X-ray. Helicopter 2 Echo X-ray, thank you. Contact SoCal now, 134.2 for flight falling, 34.2. 34.2. Zobayan looped around the Van Nuys Airport and turned right to follow Highway 101 towards Camarillo. He then contacted SoCal and reported that he was going to Camarillo at 1500 feet. Well, X-ray ident. So, actually, yeah, you're uh, still on a 1200 code. Uh, are you requesting flight following? So, 2080, SoCal approach, fly, present heading, maintain 6000. Present heading 6000, south of 2080. 2 Echo X-ray, what do you say, intention? Zobayan requested advisory services, stating that he was going to climb above the cloud layers. What do you did? Two Echo X-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. He advised that he was climbing to 4,000 feet. This was his last transmission. Level 4051, you're five miles from uh, Silex, turn left heading 100, maintain 4,000, perceptual, cause of cut off, Zulu 8. That's 100, maintain 4,000, to establish, could be ILS Zulu, runway 8, southwest 461. 
Two Echo X or SoCal. He climbed to approximately 1,500 feet above the highway, then began a left turn, and eight seconds later started turning and descending. The descent rate increased to over 4,000 feet per minute and reached a speed of 160 knots. Because of a helicopter's inherently unstable nature, helicopter pilots have one-third the time to recognize and recover from inadvertently entering instrument meteorological conditions, than fixed wing pilots. It has been extrapolated that once a helicopter pilot enters inadvertent IMC, they have an average of 56 seconds to live. Even instrument-rated pilots, like Aeros O'Bion, are susceptible to spatial disorientation if they momentarily become distracted from their instruments. The sensations from G-forces without a visual reference can be deceiving as the pilot's equilibrium is thrown off by inaccurate signals from the inner ear.